dreamy. Why did you do this? I love dreamy vacuums. It works great and they're always making it better every year. But this review is probably gonna be the most honest one you'll find. And you might not agree with me, but I had high hopes with this brand new robot vacuum. Let's talk about it. This unit was sent for me for free in exchange for a review, however, but I can say whatever I want about the product. Before I filmed this, I wanted to test it out for a few months to make sure it had great cleaning power with all the new features being actually usable and it actually works. Because who wants to spend $1,800 on a robot vacuum. First off, I've owned a ton of previous dreamy robot vacuums like the L20 Ultra, as well as the X30 Ultra, which is their previous versions, and those were great. I also recently got the Dyson robot vacuum, and I have my thoughts on that. And the qualities of dreamy robot vacuums are really, really good. They have great functions, and I've been using my older ones for over two years, lasts a long time, and it works great. Now, if you wanna check out a more controlled environment of testing, like Vacuum Wars, doing a review on the X40. I'll link that in the description below because he thinks the X40 is the best vacuum. For me at least, I'm a little disappointed with the Dreamy X40 robot vacuum. I've been testing it in my home on carpet, on hard tile. We have three dogs, tons of dog hair. So the Dreamy robot has something new called the extendable side brush. This thing is cool. Now if you didn't know, this is my X30. Most robot vacuums have the side brush here that just constantly spins on carpet, on hard floors. And it's nice because it can capture objects the robot vacuum can't really get on the sides and it helps to kind of keep the floors cleaner. It's a good and bad thing because it wears the brush further. Sometimes it's just completely useless on carpet because it's spinning constantly. However, it does do a great job of catching anything on the surface. But because the side brush is stationary, it can't catch a lot of debris, especially when you're at a, like a completely 90 degree angle. And I thought to myself, someone needs to come out with something where they can maybe extend the side brush. And Dreamy did it. And overall, it works great. But here's the issue. That extendable side brush only works on hard hardwood floors and has to detect only hardwood floors. Let's say you have hardwood floors mixed in with some area rugs or something. It's going to turn off completely the side brush. And that's been a big issue for me. There's been a lot of times where I have a lot of debris near the kitchen side where there's some carpet, but the side brush completely turns off, making that area completely useless. It doesn't even clean the edges there. I heard they are going to release a potential software update to allow you to customize it. However, it's been like five months and that update hasn't come yet. So one of their best, most highlighted features of the X40 is a feature that's completely useless if you have carpet or if you have area rugs on your hard floors. If you have strictly hardwood floors, flat surfaces, it does a great job. And yes, the suction power is much better than the previous generation. However, on carpet, it's not like a night and day difference. The previous generation still does a great job, but the X40 is slightly better. Other features that are on the previous generation, the X30, are like the mop pad extend, where it extends the mop pad to get hard to reach places and clean that area really well, as well as cleaning the mop pads with hot water and drying it with hot air as well to avoid the mildew smell. This is helpful because it also cleans the hard floors with hot water, making cleaning more effective and better. The X40 is supposed to use warmer water. However, in my testing, I found that it was barely warmer than the previous generation. And the base station can clean itself with these rubber pads that do a great job but I still found my base station does get dirty over time. Now, one cool accessory that they added, if you look here, you see how this roller brush is just covered in like hair and dog hair. This is not supposed to happen usually, but because I have so much dog hair, it still clumps up. They have this new accessory and it's kind of cool. Pretty much it uses a blade inside of the brush bar to cut up the hair. Now, this is the one that's been on my carpet for forever. And as you can see, like, where's the dog hair? So there's a little bit of debris here, but it's not bad at all. And that's awesome because it just prevents this from getting tangled up and it does a great job at cleaning the carpet really well. So if you have carpet and you have the X30, it's compatible with the X30 as well. Now the beauty with the X40 is it's supposed to be smarter than the previous generation. X30, L20 Ultra, even the X40 now, they all have a camera and LED light to help the 
robots see at night and kind of recognize stuff with their AI recognition. And it does a great job. However, with the AI software, it can detect stains much better and clean automatically that area multiple times compared to the previous generation. However, for me, because our floors get so dirty with our dogs running in and out, I always found cleaning my floors always constant on the deep mode setting regardless of any other special features. However, overall, if you do like that set it and forget it type of setting, the AI in the X40 is very, very good. So let's go ahead and test it out. So here's my floor plan. Everything's customizable. You can do a AI cleaning where it kind of knows what to do. So that's cool. However, for me, I like to have everything on max mop after vac. It's gonna detach the mop pads and vacuum my floor. I have it on max, but I'm gonna go ahead and change that to max plus so it's the most suction power. And I really want a really deep clean, so we're gonna go and do that and see how well it does. And when you're done, you just press clean. It just does everything for you. So overall, the cleaning does a great job, especially when I customize it and have it on max plus suction power. It's able to clean a ton of the hair on the carpet as well as on the hardwood floors. And having three dogs, it's super important. It has all the AI recognition features so it can avoid like dog dog feces, dog toys. They have other features, like you have more dock settings where you can control the amount of hot water temperature as well as the rewashing, floor clean settings, stain recognition library. Overall, it's very easy to use. And when the dustbin is full, it knows and automatically goes back to the base station to empty the dustbin. So overall did a great job and all together it took about four hours to clean 1,100 square foot. So not too bad overall. Overall, while on paper, the X40, the Dreamy's newest robot vacuum, sounds really, really good. But in real life scenarios, it's just not there for an upgrade, all right? Very, listen to what I have to say. If you're upgrading, I say skip it. However, if you're considering a new robot vacuum or your old one broke, X40 is a great choice. Yes, it's expensive, but it has the best suction power, great AI recognition, washes the mop pads, does all this stuff for you. I don't remember the last time I vacuumed or washed my floors. It's been awesome. It has great battery life. The app is very user-friendly and easy to use. And overall, I highly recommend the X40 for new owners but not for owners who are trying to upgrade. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.